It's a story that made national headlines. A plane forced to make an emergency landing at the Sunport after a passenger tried opening a door during the flight. Now we're seeing firsthand the encounter police had with that unruly passenger and hearing from those who kept that man down until landing. News 13's Alexis Kaneski has the details. It's late February when this Albuquerque police officer finds himself on a plane at the International Sunport. While the aircraft looks empty, there's a specific passenger still on board this officer is looking for. Are you gentlemen doing off to the Albuquerque Police Department? He's about to enter. Oh, he's about to enter. Yeah. Okay. This passenger, who we are not okay. naming because okay. of an ongoing investigation, okay. is accused of trying to open the emergency exit door of an American Airlines flight from Albuquerque. Turkey to Chicago. Video from inside shows passengers restraining the man mid-flight while the plane makes an emergency landing back at the Sunport. Are you able to walk with it until we get further out? Officers really escort the man off the plane and trade the flexi cuffs and duct tape. You're going to feel some scissors back here, but I'm controlling them. Just hold still. For some real handcuffs. Throughout the arrest, the man doesn't give the police any trouble. We appreciate your cooperation with us. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. After the man is led to the back of a cop car, officers get first-hand accounts of what exactly happened on that plane. I could hear the air. Okay. That was my first indicator. The air was coming in really in a strong way. Did it look like he was trying to open a door? Yeah. 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 Oh, he was on the handle. Okay. Also, hearing from those who jumped into action. I had his arms and his legs. Uh, it didn't feel like he was struggling. It could have just been adrenaline, too, of all of us just holding him down. We were able to, to cuff him and restrain him and then moved to the back of the plane, and then obviously from there the flight turned around and we, you know, arrived back here. It appears from the statements he made to investigators, the man was suffering from a mental health episode. Alexis Gineski, KRQE News 13. We reached out to the U.S. Attorney's Office. They said DOJ policy doesn't let them comment publicly or confirm any existence of criminal investigations before anyone is charged with a crime.